everybody welcome to a new rain vlog i didn't vlog last week just because i need a little break and also i was out of town um for gen con because i'm kevin's co-host so we went there and i have some clips for you guys so here they are So I hope you guys enjoy the clips and I'll be showing you guys some uh, stuff um, that Kevin and I got from Gen Con. But first I'm going to be telling you guys the books that I'll be reading this week. I've started on um, The Paper Princess. Um, I'm only three chapters in. I hardly ran the car. I mostly took a nap. So I'm hoping to read this before Fairy Tailathon. And speaking of that, um, this reading vlog is going to be ending on a Saturday and I'll be releasing on a Sunday just because a Fairy Tailathon starts on Sunday. So that will make more sense to me. And yeah, the other two books, I'm not sure if I'll be getting to for before Fairy Tailathon. One of the choices I have is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen. I've been wanting to read Morgan Madsen's book for a long time. I have not read any of her books, and I know more of her books have grabbed my interest, so I'm hoping to pick those up. And another one that I'm not probably not going to get to is um, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I might pick this up after Fairy Talathon just because I'm not in a um, dystopia mood. I ask you guys on Twitter on which books I should read next, and that's the winner. But I probably will read it after Fairy Talathon. Just because I'm like, I want to read some contemporary before reading fairy tale retellings. Just because, like, it's been helping me get out of a reading slump. Because I love fantasy, don't get me wrong, and fairy tale retellings. I just need something light and quick before I began on the fairy tale on Sunday. Also, I did not read a lot last week. That's why there was no reading vlog. So, yeah, and now I'm going to show you the. Things that Kim and I got from Gen Con. Oh yeah, I forgot that I'll be listening to The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro, which is a sequel to um, Stay in Charlotte. So I'll be listening to that on the book now and get to the stuff that Kim and I got from Gen Con. So I, we all got lanyards and Gen Con, in case, in case you guys didn't know what Gen Con is, is a boring gaming convention so Kevin and I go there every year and I go there with him because I'm his co-host so that's why I attend there and and also I got some pins I don't collect a lot of non-Disney pins but except this one right here um with here I'm gonna try to make it focus there we go this is um, a Disney related pin because there's a game called Villainous and you get to play different D Disney villains which I really like and and I got this pin featuring it because Kevin got it for me as an anniversary gift. Yes, over the weekend was our <laughs> mine and Kevin's four year anniversary so yeah we've been dating for four years and, and it was a really best time. And also I have four more pins I'm going to try to show you guys at a different angle. <laughs> So I also got three um, um, pin sets that says Gen Con because I've been there for um, three times now and it has um, the one from 2017 which is the first Gen Con that I ever attended and then 2018 and then um, this year which is 2019 so yeah and and yes the dragons are pretty much, much their mascot. <laughs> So these are the board games that Kim and I got. Um, we got um, Villainous Wicked to the Core. This is the expansion of it. And it's also a standalone game, which is 
awesome. We played the newest one, which is called Evil um, Comes Prepared, which has um, Scar on it, and this is the Evil Queen. I'll show you guys the other villains you can play in this game, in case you guys are interested, especially as Disney fans. Um, I'm going to try and make it focus. Come on, focus, focus. Uh, come on, focus, 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 focus. I'm gonna try my best because my camera's not cooperating with me right now. You get to play Hades from Hercules, Dr. Facilier from The Princess and the Frog, and Evil Queen from Snow White. That's the big obvious. Here, I'll show you the picture of the villains. Yeah, it's getting too blurry, and my camera's not cooperating. So, yeah, and Kevin and I are excited to get this, and it's also an anniversary gift from Kevin to me, so thank you, Kevin. And then we got Daniel's Rising, which was the game that we tested out last year, which was a lot of fun, and I got Kevin this as an anniversary present. Just because these two are the most popular franchises, uh, Marvel and Disney, we thought like we would get them before they were sold out, so that's why we got these on the first couple of days. And then Kevin got um, Pirates, which sounds like a cool game. You get to play as Pirates. So, yeah. And then um, Kevin's dad got Raccoon Tacoon. I think this is like a Western kind of game. Yeah, it's, but it features animals, which sounds really cool. And then I got uh, Detective Club, which is a mystery game where you can give people clues, like if you have if you played Mysterium, which is another mystery game that I really enjoyed, you get to guess on um, what word you're looking for that matches the picture. So, yeah, and these are some of the examples. So, yeah, these are the games that we got. I would show you why I got my parents, but if they're watching this, then they would get spoiled. So, yeah. <laughs> also, Kevin and I want to do an updated um, board game recommendations to readers, like I would recommend... Um, certain books to match with the board games because Kevin wants to do an updated view of that for you guys and um, yeah and but he wants to do it by genre just because some people like certain genres we would match it with a um, like a book from a certain genre to um, a certain game just so it, it would be easier instead of like a specific book to um, a certain game just because it would be easier and yes Kevin and I will be doing an updated version of that video soon, don't know when, so, yep, and I'm gonna try to get some reading done, and Kevin and I are gonna be doing some unboxing videos for his channel, and I'll be linking his channel in the corner, and as well as down below, because I'm always trying to advertise his channel, because I'm a, his co-host, and I want to let you guys know that he also has a YouTube channel, so, yep, and I'll catch you guys later. Hello, everybody. Buddy, it's Tuesday. I did not do any rain yesterday. I'm so disappointed in myself. I think it's because I was exhausted from getting home from my trip to Gen Con, so that's probably why. And I am playing on rain more of um, Paper Princess. I'm just trying to figure out why I want to do rain wise this week and um yeah and my plan for today is I thought of doing a video but I'm like I don't feel like doing a video today so I'm mostly going to be reading and I'll be listening to my audio book of the last of August so that's my plan for today also I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves I don't know what I'm going to be doing I'm trying to figure out because I always organize them by genre but at the same time I really want to do something different about my bookshelves but other than that I don't know what I'm gonna be doing because I really thought of just organizing them by series and still by genre but at the same time I'm like I don't want to separate like books from different genres and different shelves so I'm gonna figure out once I reorganize my bookshelves that's why I'm plan on doing today so yeah hopefully it'll go well for me
it's much later and I'm sorry that I didn't fully record the bookshelf organization. I just got a little bit tired and I just didn't want to film the whole thing so I'll show you guys the results of my bookshelves. So here's the bookshelves and I really thought I wouldn't be able to separate the series uh, the um, books that in a series I haven't read yet, but here's all the books. So I have like one, two, three, four, and three, um, a three quarters a shelf of all the books that are my TBR. So yeah, that's a bit shocking. So I still I want to start off with the sequels that I want to read first, and then work my way down. So yeah, I have not read those books in. Um, um, Shadow, um, Shadow Hunter Chronicles, and yeah, I, and all of the Rick Riordan books. Yeah, I have a lot of books on my TBR, but you know what? I was able to separate the sequels just so I wouldn't stress out about, um, not able to read them. So I just thought this would be a better idea for me, and. Yeah, I need. I know I need to put more Fungal Pops in this shelf just because Tiana is all by herself and I don't want her to be lonely. And I might add one more Fungal Pop to this shelf just because they need. I need more stuff. I got more Fungal Pops for my birthday recently, so I might use them for my shelves. And with that, all of my books um, re being reorganized, I was able to listen to the last of August for an hour and a half, which is really good. I'm like five chapters into it I think um so yeah the rest of the day or rest of the night I should say I'm gonna be editing on um, one of my upcoming videos and I'll be reading Paper Princess while it's uploading so yeah there's the plan I also forgot to mention that um that I'm putting my Pretty Little Liars books in storage I do want to read the books but r right now I'm just not in the mood for them so I'm going to be putting those in storage, and in case you guys didn't know, some of my TBR books are in my little cube shelves that are um, full of more of my unread books just to make more room, so yeah, forgot to mention that. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. I read a little bit of Paper Princess last night. I'm not that far into it. I'm like eight chapters in. And I, again, I listened to The Last of August yesterday, and I'm like four chapters in. So not a lot, but I'm going to be reading both of them more today because I have filming to do, and I have to, I have chores to do, so audiobooks are perfect for that. So, yeah, and I just found out last night actually that the great mass detective is getting a live action remake yay if you guys didn't know it's a disney film about mouse who is a detective and he's actually based on sherlock holmes and um dr dawson is based on dr watson and i'm just so excited about that film i know not a lot of people like live action remakes from disney but they were making a lot of money from doing that lately and it's hard for them to create new films if some of them have not been I'm, I don't want to say good but it hasn't been getting a lot of attention like other films do so I'm really excited about the Great Mass Detective getting a live action film and I honestly want to fan cast Ragan because he is a the villain of it he's based on Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes I am hoping that Tim Curry would be Radigan because he played villains before and he's a good actor for playing villains or um who else who else would I cast Bandit Cumberbatch or Tom Hilston oh my gosh I'm listing like a lot of actors that that I really like and who would be a perfect role for Radigan I don't know who I would cast as Basil or Dr. Dawson so <laughs> I honestly hope they would change Olivia's name for the live action because that has been working really well with Disney just to um, make the difference between the original anime film to live action which I really liked. I did not like how like for 
the Lion King they changed um, Zhenzai and Ed's name, but it kind of worked really well because I kind of can tell who the two are, but even though I don't know their names, but I kind of can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I should get to reading, and yes, I'm watching YouTube videos when I'm supposed to be reading, but I'm still a little sleepy right now, so yeah, and I'll catch you guys later. Later, it's 11.30 at night. I'm whispering because everybody's sleeping. And I'm 125 pages in Paper Princess. I am liking it, but I'm not loving it. I'm actually liking the fact that there is a female, another female character named Jordan. I'm appreciating that, but I do not like how she the main girl. <laughs> that's, like, so far, that's the thing I don't like about this book. It's a female girl named Jordan is a main girl. I'm like... Seriously, why make her a mean girl when she shares the same name as me? <laughs> so that's how, I'm how my progress is in Paper Princess. Um, I might go. I might. I'm gonna go to bed just because I want to get enough sleep. And I have some filming to do tomorrow. I thought I was gonna do filming today, but I didn't. But I didn't. So. I'll be doing filming tomorrow, and I'll give you guys a little update tomorrow. Hey everybody, it's Friday. Sorry that I didn't vlog a lot yesterday. I just didn't feel like vlogging, and plus I hardly read anything yesterday. So I listened to more of my um, audiobook. I'm going to check to see how far I am, guys. I'm trying to finish it before Fairy Telethon starts because I would be very stressed out if I don't. Um, let's see. I'm like an hour in. I'm just trying to finish up before um, Fairy Telethon starts. I know I have tomorrow, but <laughs> still. And yesterday, Kevin and I went to the library. Well, not just one library we went to two libraries we went to my library and then we went to his we rented some movies but i also rented some books so i'll show you guys those the only book that i've got from my library is what the wood keep by katya the Basera, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, the synopsis really caught my attention. Plus, this book came out a few months ago, and it's like it's like a mystery thriller kind of thing. It's about this girl who is like ready to go to college, but then her mom goes missing, and her dad has some theories on how it happened. So that really grabbed my attention. <laughs> yeah book that I got from Kevin's library well Kevin rented for me so thank you Kevin is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid everybody's been talking about it on booktube and I just thought I'd give it a try because I never read any of her books before and two it's been really grabbing my attention I think it's a historical mystery novel I'm not quite sure but everybody's been talking about it along with Daisy Jones and the Six. I could have rent that from my library, but I wanted to read this first just because many people talked about it first. So, yeah, those are the only two library books that I've got. And, um, yeah, I'll be reading Paper Princess. Hopefully, I'll get a lot of reading done. So, wish me luck. Hello everybody, it's Saturday. I did not do any reading last night, so I'll be doing that today. Hopefully I'll get all the reading done by midnight because that's when Fairy tale thon starts. So I'm going to be continuing. Let me grab it real quick. Ugh. Um, Paper Princess along with reading or listening to The Last of August. Hopefully I'll finish both of them today because 
I don't want to be behind on Fairy Tale Thon once it starts tomorrow, so wish me luck again. <laughs> hey everybody, it's, it's Sunday. I wasn't able to vlog yesterday because I was spending time with my family, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But last night I was able to or yesterday, I should say, I was able to finish Paper Princess by Aaron Watt. I give this four out of five stars overall, and that's pretty much it all I've read for the reading vlog, um, or reading this week. I'm gonna try to finish, um, the last of August. I know today is the first day of Fairy Tale Thon, so, yeah, and I'm gonna be doing it intro, uh, uh, and, <clears throat> In a few minutes, so yeah, that's it for this week's reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it and give me give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading right now. And if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook under Last Reader, I have Twitter and Instagram on Last Reader 19. I have a good reach, which I'll link down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss any bookish contact from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.